Well, one critic describes the musical A Bronx Tale as Jersey Boys meets West Side Story, and it's coming soon to Dallas as part of the AT&T Performing Arts Broadway series. Take a look at that. The show was based on the movie about a young boy in the Bronx in the 60s who's drawn to a charismatic mob boss against the wishes of his father. We're playing that mob boss named Sonny is Joe Barber, and we welcome Joe to Midday. Happy to have you here. A charismatic mob boss. Yeah. You ready so, for it? I, I don't know. I, I, they, they, uh, they gave me a lot of credit there. You ready to bring <laughs> that energy to Dallas? I am so ready. I can't, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. My first time in Dallas, but the show's coming in two weeks. And everybody's very excited. I think I can't wait to see what a New York centric story, a story about New York yeah. plays like in, in Texas. I think it's going to be awesome. You know, Joe, I've been seeing a lot of reviews and so many people are talking about how fascinating this show is. Is it the singing, the dancing on all rolled up in one? I got to tell you something. You know what's great about this show? It's, you know, not to be sexist, but there's a lot of women that love musical theater, right? And, and a lot of guys are like, ah, musical theater. This is a musical theater show that guys can go see and love. This and I tell you why I think so many guys may like it because of that music style is like that doo-wop style that we're so used to growing up. Exactly. Well, but the whole show runs a gamut. We have doo-wop. We have like Sinatra type of music. We have some R&B type of uh, duet. I mean, there's there's a whole gamut of music because the show is set from like 1961 to 68. Yeah. So it's old school music combined with, you know, uh, a very new, exciting sort of uh, uh, choreography. And the story is amazing. I mean, you know the movie. The movie is fantastic. Yeah, so I understand you performed in Jersey Boys in Vegas. I did, yeah. And had an interesting link reaching out to Robert Nero with well, the video. Well, oh, the vi oh, my gosh. Well, what happened was I was in Vegas for the, uh, the paper mill. When we first produced the show, um, they asked me to audition. I was still in Las Vegas, so they put me on. I, they said, would you put yourself on tape? So I shot myself. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> not literally. <laughs> but as a mob boss, Especially you might think that. Right, bosses, right, right. Yeah. I know. I do shoot other people <laughs> in the show, but I didn't shoot myself. Um, but I put myself on tape for the audition, and apparently um, uh, the word was that, that Bob watched the tape. And, I mean, that was the most... The scariest part of the whole process has been knowing that De Niro was watching my audition tape. Now that I know him and now that, you know, he's seen me perform yeah. the role, it's, it's not a big deal at all. Did you initially think you did enough to impress him? I knew I liked what I, what I sent in for the audition, but, I, you know, you don't know how he's going to take it. But he apparently took it very well. So talk to me a little bit about the music and why families would want to come. Well... It's a story about love, it's a story about family, it's a story about a father's love for his son, a son's love for his father, and his son's also, you know, being pulled in another direction and that, that allure of, of the lifestyle that, you know, we all sort of aspire to, the money, the fame, the coolness, the toughness, and, and the son's pulled in a lot of directions. And uh, it's really, it's about family, it's about love, it's about making the right choices. I mean, Chaz always says that it's about, you know, not wasting your talent and making the right choices in life. Yeah, and the score's familiar to a lot of Disney fans with Alan Menken. Alan Menken, if you don't know the name Alan Menken, you, you really should, you, you know his music. He wrote everything from um, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, The Little Mermaid, I mean, everything from uh, uh, Aladdin, yeah. Beauty and the Beast, I mean, we had a party at Chaz's house. Alan sat down at the piano and started banging out his own tunes, and it was mind-boggling, the hits he has written. Yeah, well, Joe, thanks so much for being here. I know you're a busy guy, and thanks for making time for us. And My pleasure. Giving us a little teaser about what the Bronx Tale has to Gotta order. Got to come out we, yeah. right after Christmas. Great Christmas present, too. And I'll tell you how folks can come out. A Bronx Tale opens at Winspear Opera House in Dallas the day after Christmas and runs through January 6th. Now, as Joe just said, it's a great idea for Christmas stocking stuffers. For ticket information, all you have to do is go to ATT. PAC.org.